is the standard G540 system I've offered uh, for years. And this one is, of course, available in my eBay store. But what makes this system custom is the motor that I've matched to it. This is a NEMA 34 1600 ounce inch, three and a half amp motor. It's single shaft, 14 millimeter. And this particular motor performs in speed characteristics similar to my three and 600 ounce motors. I'm gonna show that here. Just to confirm all of the speed uh, components I'm using, I'm using my UC400 turnkey installation with, of course, my Physics Anonymous screen set, which I introduced to you guys last week. Um, I wanna just show you how this setup works, and then we'll cover why I'm discussing this, because ultimately there's some mass confusion that NEMA 34 motors cannot be made to be used with the G540. That is completely false. Not only is it false, a motor like this will easily run a Bridgeport mill if it has a motor adapter plate made so you can drop down from a NEMA 42. That'll save you a boatload of money and the, NEMA, and the um, motor adapters are always much cheaper. So again, it's something you guys need to consider. You wanna look into the largest size motor required for your application that again is not gonna break the bank and there's only certain applications that require this. That being said, this particular installation is being used, believe it or not, to cut down tires. He is using a, a single axis to cut down industrial tires, but he needs it to have enough torque to do it. It's going to go from a manual process to a production process with a robot, which once again, I matched a ball screw assembly with this to give him the performance he requires. So let's see how this performs. And you can see here, I've already got everything set up. We're going to jog the motor right now. I have it set at 2,000 inches a minute. You'll see that real quick. Even back. Give it 